I don't know how to fit in. I kind of feel like a witch right now with my hair and my shirt or my bodysuit. So long, I feel like bruja, brujería. Hola, corazones, mis amores. ¿A dónde he estado? Where have I been? Oh my god. So I moved and the time, the last video I did, I did another one after that about like very romantic love rendezvous perfumes and I haven't edited it and it's so long ago now and I'm like, mm. anywho, where have I been? So <laughs> you're not on my Instagram, which neither am I tbh these days. Long story short, I try to rescue strays, you know, when it's very hurtful for me to see them in the streets and I try to, every time I see a stray, I try to rescue it. My whole life I've been like that. I don't want it to get hit by a car. I think it's so heartbreaking to see strays just roaming the streets. So this one actually after after an intense process, I was able, oh my God, okay, brain. Brr, long story short, I rescued a stray, about to get hit by a UPS truck. Um, he was a German Shepherd. He's a puppy, but full grown. And I was like, what do I do? I shoved him in the back of my car and now He's my son. So I decided to keep him. He is a street dog. He didn't know no. He doesn't know. Well, now he knows. I mean, I, so I've been training him this whole time. I've been trying to train him. He has taken every ounce of energy that I have. And with Toothless and Shoshana, I just have to tell you, it's been a trip. And he's amazing. And he is his name is Sir Isaac Newton Lazzaroni. Um, I had a, I had a German shepherd growing up in Honduras named Newton. So Sir Isaac Newton. So his name is Isaac. I call him Isaac and he is just so handsome. I'll post some pictures at the end of this video, but that's where I've been. I got evicted because of him. I ended up getting evicted because of Isaac. So here we are. We are in a new home. And let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you, just let me gab for a second. The Also, by the way, he's not here right now, which is why I'm able to film. He's in boarding school training because he needs a lot of work. <laughs> let me tell you, I think this is, so my nose is so heightened my sen my senses I'm a, I'm a very sensitive senses girl so I'm a very sensitive senses girly so like every my set my senses are very heightened and my nose clearly you know I smell everything everything I smell everything and if something smells bad I cannot live I cannot live if something smells bad, I'm like a hound. I will just like, what smells bad? If my house smells like trash or some any little thing, I like hunt it down. You know, clearly that's why I have a perfume channel because I just love good smells. And I have never smelled so bad in my life. In my life! It's really making me sad because I'm, I, I, I devote so much energy and time like washing everything because he's a german shepherd he's shedding he's huge and he's a puppy and it's been raining and he gets on me and i am just like fanatic about making things smell good in my home on me i'm like do i smell like a i ask everybody i'm like do i smell like isaac and like toothless and shoshana i am just it's an issue right now. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm getting sprays, I'm cleaning fabrics. I'm like, I've never done so much laundry in my life. I'm like, this is how new moms feel when like babies throw up on them all the time. I don't know, but that's how I feel. I feel 
like I need 5,000 showers a day, <laughs> but he's worth it. He is amazing. And I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Right now he would literally be slobbering all over my face and would not let me film. So that's where I've been. Toothless and Shoshana are not very happy with me. Well, they are, they're getting, they're getting used to it, but right now they're very happy. They're in his crate actually, because you know, everything is washed and he's in training. <laughs> they're sleeping in his crate, it's so cute. Anywho, we are here. How long did that take? I don't know, my perdonas. Uh, I had to fill you in. I mean, I just, I had to, I had to tell you what's going on. So we are here, which leads me, my eviction leads me to, we are here, my God, why do you watch this channel? Because it's our channel, that's why. We are here to talk about my most worn perfumes of, of 2023. Now, if there's one comment that I get all the time, one request that I get all the time by multiple, spit, by multiple people, <laughs> it's, girl, do your perfume empties. Apparently, I am the queen of perfume empties so and y'all love to see that so I love to see it I love that you love to see it um but I regret to inform that in the chaos of my eviction that I had to move out they gave me a week to rehome him so in the chaos I threw my empties away because you know I saved them all year for this video and I threw them away I threw them away. I said, I cannot, I can't take them with me. I can't, I should have taken a picture or done some sort of video reel so I could like insert it in here, but I didn't. I didn't, my pardonas, I'm sorry. But I have in my memory, <laughs> I think, the ones that I have used. But I will start with the ones I have with me. Why don't we do that? So, and my pardonas, because I have, no idea which ones I've already talked about, which ones I said I'm gonna be emptying, or like, I don't know which ones I've posted on my Instagram. I don't know what I've said. I don't know what I've said. So, I'm sorry if you've heard about these before, but you probably forgot if I forgot. Let's be real. Okay, mi gente, what I have here, I believe this is my second bottle. I can't remember. I've had this one for a long time. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase because I'm kind of sick of it. I love it, kind of over it. The Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I hate the one. I love the only one, but I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm done, I'm done with this bottle. I, mean, I don't even wanna spray this little tiny bit that's in there. I'm just over it, I'm over it. I've worn it so much. I've worn you too much. We need a break. Oh, we need to break up. I think I'm breaking up, yes. It's like just a very, a very, it's kind of synthetic, coffee, sweet kind of smell. It's so good though. It is good. I'm just, I'm just over it. But don't check about another one. She's done. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll, okay, no. <laughs> I'll talk about the ones I don't have later. <laughs> um, this is, so do you guys know this isn't at Sephora anymore? The Oudem Bergamot, Joe Malone. This is a lifer for me. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this at some point. But yeah, I have to have this one. I love it, I love it. It's like, I honestly, I think the closest kind of that it would be, smell like is the Mise en Seur Perfect Oud, which I love, it's also a lifer. But it's very different. Oud and Bergamot is so zesty and woody. It's really strange and really amazingly done. So yes, this is done, unfortunately, because I do need to repurchase. Let's see if we can spray a little. Oh. See, that's my problem. Like I always keep, because you always get like a tiny, tiny little bit, but she's done. Oh, that smell though, it's so fresh and woody. She's done, adios. And the other one I have here is Piano Santal by Locasta Parfum. Piano Santal. This is a super, can you see it? I got many compliments on this one. 
it's probably the milkiest sandalwood that I've tried like super milky sandalwood but really really amazing I think for every day for as an everyday scent it's not especially in the winter or the fall um, it's not overpowering it's just like a smooth milky sandalwood that's very draws you in closer to it it's very beautiful I will repurchase this at some point not yet at some point I will look for this again so if I can remember the one I know I think I threw her away um, is Lanter D by Givenchy I wore that I finished the bottle Granted, she was a 1.7 ounce, not the 3.4 ounce bottle. So I did finish L'Interdi, the original Givenchy in Paris. So I have to, I want to go back and like sniff that one because I want to see if it already brings me back scent memories. Uh, so I threw that one away. I threw, I went through a bottle of Santal Complet. So I won't, I won't repurchase L'Interdi because I just want that to stay in Paris, you know? And Santal Complet, you know, I've, my fragrance de bois, I love that scent so much, so much. It's, it has to be, well, that and Gris Charnel. Um, toss up of my favorite sandalwood scents, Gris Charnel and Santal Complet. And I was one of those that was like back and forth doesn't matter longevity I'll just buy it because the scent is so divine but I think I've come to the probably if I still had the bottle and I smelled it I'd be like oh yes I'd repurchase it but I guess now that I don't have the bottle and I just am remembering how poor the performance was on me it was just so faint and I I had to spray it so much I went through the bottle pretty quickly because I just it's the performance is just not not good on me so at this time i don't think i will repurchase santal complet but maybe if i smelled it in the store i'll get sucked right back in damn it so the ones i've worn the most if if you guys saw maybe i'll post a snippet after this video but if you guys saw the way my perfumes are arranged right now it's like the closet of Narnia like and it's high up there's so many layers I can't get to the back so I can't even get my bottles I don't know how I'm gonna continue filming these videos because I cannot reach my bottles there's no way I have no access except for the two like the front two rows it's like a shelf it's I don't want to talk about it so I'm trying to remember the bottles I've used the most because I can't get them. I cannot get them to show you. But Jazz Club, I probably have like a quarter left of Jazz Club. Man, guys, I have had so much, so many compliments on Jazz Club. Like of all, and you guys know, like you see, I, I use my bottles. I use them and I count, I clock. When I get compliments, I clock it, I clock it, and I clock when I don't. I know. I love it, though. <laughs> uh, jazz Club? Man, I get so many people. I do. I've, I've had so many people compliment me on Jazz Club. A lot of people complimented me on Piano Centel, too. Not really. I had, I had some on Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, but Piano Centel, I got... Uh, I have it's popular, but jazz club people would be we people would tell me how good I smell. People would want to take pictures of my bottle because you know I carry it with me a lot of times. But yes, jazz club is not done, but I have like a quarter left. Um, what else did I use? I used uh, my bottle. I used up my bottle of Pure Poison Dior. I definitely want to repurchase that one at some point. It's just a crisp, like crisp, white floral, clean, beautiful scent. 
Um, I think I did get nose blind to that one a little bit as as the more I wore it because I know she's strong, like I would smell her, but then I feel like I wouldn't smell her on me anymore, but I didn't think that's because it wasn't performing well. I think I was just nose blind. I don't know. You guys tell me if you've had any experiences like that because I don't think it was the performance. I think it was just my nose. I'm not sure. I used up my small bottle of Atelier's Clementine California. Again, really love that scent, but you know, I don't really like fruit scents that much, but that's a really beautiful, fresh, like out of the shower Clementine scent. It's very nice, but abysmal. Performance is abysmal. I, yeah, I, it doesn't last on me at all, so I will not repurchase that one. Mm. Gosh, I should have taken a picture. You don't understand. My head was so like that I was just like, yeah, and I threw them away. Such a shame, because I love seeing those empty bottles. I can't remember. I can't remember, is Chloe Nomad in this year or last year? I know I emptied Chloe Nomad, but I don't remember if that was 22 or 23. But I emptied Chloe Nomad. I won't repurchase that one. It's nice, but it's too simple, I think. Um. Holy bits of cannolis. Oh, did I say I finished Gris Charnel? Or was that 22? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Well, I need to repurchase Gris Charnel, but I have the I have the X rate, so I need to I need to finish that one. Um, before I want to finish that one before I purchase Gris Charnel and Maybe I'll see if which one I'll purchase, which one I like more when I finish the X straight. Oh my goodness, you know what? Mm. I am drawing a blank right now. So what I'm gonna do is go on my fragrance net. No, not my fragrance net. My What's it called? Oh my god, for grand to go. <sighs> oh, I'm so out of the loop. It makes me so sad. I haven't even tried so many new releases. Oh, but I did try Janny. I think it's getting mixed reviews, but I loved it. I love Janny. I want to buy Janny. Um, but I haven't tried too many new releases. I need to go smell. I need to go to Lucky Scent. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember right now anything. So I'm going to look at my for grand to cut. My brain. Tiff away, time away, it's gone. I don't have it. I miss you guys, I miss talking to you guys, I miss perfumes, I miss everything. My life is consumed with Isaac right now and Toothless and Shoshana. It's just, and some other projects I'm working on, but Isaac is like a newborn baby. Not exaggerating, but I can't wait for you to meet him when he's trained and can maybe sit here with me without destroying, without knocking over the camera and licking my face. Osamo, tell me which ones you've emptied this year. Tell me which ones you're looking forward to emptying and I hope to see you soon. I hope I... <laughs> I'm gonna try and film another one before he's back from boarding. So, Losamo. Rosamo, I miss you. Me perdonan. The comment. Always leave comments. I'm always, always look forward to talking to you guys in the comments or wherever. And you can follow Sir Isaac Newton Laz on IG. <laughs> He's so cute. Rosamo. Mwah.